Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing super wonderful and in today's video you will learn how you can create this awesome animated slide design in PowerPoint. It's a virtual planner user interface made entirely in PowerPoint. So let's go! Alright my friends, so let's jump into PowerPoint and let's start creating these beautiful slides for our virtual planner. And first of all, let's just quickly run through the slides so that you can get familiarized with the structure of this presentation. So we have 4 beautiful slides in total, we have a nice background picture and we have a picture of a model wearing virtual reality glasses. And I'll show you where we can find all of those beautiful pictures and for now let's just insert a blank new slide. Alright, and the first step is to find this beautiful background picture that we could use for our presentation and in today's video we'll be using photos from depositphotos.com and I want to say huge thanks to Deposit Photos for sponsoring today's video and helping us out with those beautiful photos you can find vectors as well you can find music you can find videos but in today's tutorial we'll be using some awesome photos and let me just log in and let's find those beautiful photos that I have already added to my favorites collection okay here they are all of the photos that we're going to use in today's presentation. And once you click on any of these beautiful photos, you'll get a couple of options of different qualities that you can choose from. And I have chosen Excel quality, I think it's pretty awesome. And I have already downloaded all of these photos to my computer, so we can get back to PowerPoint and let's go to Insert, Photos and let's find that beautiful background picture. Let's click on Pictures, let's go to this device and here is our beautiful background photo, let's click Insert. And now this uh, photo doesn't cover the whole slide uh, fully, don't worry, let's just grab one of the corners, hold down Control shift keys and let's expand this photo until it covers the whole slide. And now we can crop the photo itself to 16 by 9 and let's just drag it a little bit upwards just like that. And once we're happy, let's just click on crop again to finalize the changes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ok my friends, and next we have to insert this beautiful photo of a model wearing virtual reality glasses. So once again let's jump back to depositphotos.com and let's find that VR photo. Ok, so this is the one front uh, facing model, that's good. But as you can see these photos, they have a background and we have to remove the photo background in order to use these photos in our slide design. And luckily for us, Deposit Photos has uh, this tool called Free Background Remover. And it's super easy to work with this tool, just drag and drop your image or even a video and the background will be magically removed. So this was the original photo with the background and this is the result without the background. And I'm really impressed with the result. This photo cutout looks really good and this tool has saved me a lot of time. And now you can download this photo for absolutely free in a standard resolution and if you'd like to download an HD version for that you would need one of these subscription plans. And you can use promo code OneSkill20 to get a 20% discount for any subscription plan. More info in the video description. Alright, so to save some time let me just select this front facing model with these beautiful VR glasses and let's paste this photo into our slide. That's awesome, let's zoom out a little bit. And now let's start creating this first transition where this model is shrinking in size and at the same time some text boxes and some widgets are flying in from the sides. So let's remember how this transition looks like as you can see the model shrinks and at the same time some content is flying in from the sides. So let me show you how we can do that. And before we continue let me just paste in that shiny one scale logo to the bottom left corner of the slide. And now let's make sure that we duplicate our beautiful slide, we can just right click on the slide and choose duplicate or just hit ctrl D to do that. And now on the duplicate slide let's reduce the size of this photo, let's make sure it stays center aligned, that's good. And now let's make sure that both of these slides are selected and let's apply more transition to these beautiful slides and for the duration I'm using one second. And now the morph transition should do all of the magic, so once we will transition to the next slide the model should shrink. And once we come back, the model grows back. That's super awesome. Ok, let's continue with inserting some text boxes, ok? Alright, and now let's save a little bit of time and let's jump back to one of my previously created slides and let's copy these beautiful text boxes. Good morning, Raminta, let's plan your wonderful day. And if you're wondering what does Raminta mean, it's one of the most beautiful woman names in Lithuania. So let's just use these text boxes and let's paste them into our slide. 
and we can move this photo a little bit around so that it fits nicely between these text boxes, that's great. And the font that I'm using for all of these beautiful text boxes is called Poppins, you can get it on googlefonts.com, link is in the video description. And I'm just using different weights for some of the text boxes I'm using regular and for some of these text boxes I'm using semi bold. And at the same time all of these text boxes have a white shadow which is set to blur 100 points. Okay, so white shadow, size 100% and blur 100 points. And I think that this glowing text effect fits really well to our slide design. Okay, and next I think we can make our model a little bit smaller so that there is more space between the arms and these uh, text boxes. Okay, so that this way all of the elements have some space to breathe. That's awesome. Now let's make sure that we copy all of these text boxes and let's make sure that we paste them to the previous slide as well. And now on the previous slide let's just move them outside of the slide window. And remember we have applied the morph transition to both of these uh, slides. And with the morph transition we should get this animation where these text boxes are flying in from the sides. Super nice. Alright, and besides these shiny text boxes we have to insert a couple of modern and minimal looking beautiful widgets. And this one on the left side is showing current time and weather information and the widget on the right side is showing your schedule for the day. And now let's create one of these widgets together step by step so that you could learn the process and you could create any widget that you would need. And first of all let's just insert a rounded rectangle, okay, and for the outline I'm choosing white and for the fill I'm choosing no fill. And now let's make the outlines of this rounded rectangle a little bit less intense by introducing some transparency. I'm using 50% line transparency and for the line width I'm using 0.5 points. And now let's make sure that our little card has a nice fill that looks like this. Uh, you might say that this is just a simple gradient fill. But actually this card is using a blurred background as its fill. And I'll show you how we can do that. And first of all let's just zoom out a little bit so that we have more space to work. And now let's just copy our background photo. You can hold down Ctrl Shift keys uh, to drag a copy in a straight line just like that. And now let's make sure that we select the copy and let's go to those artistic effects and let's choose blur effect. Okay. And now for the blur radius, I'm using 50 points or 50%, okay. And this is how the background, how the blurred background picture looks like. Let's copy it, okay, and now we can delete it. And now if we would move this background picture to the side, as you can see the slide background is white. And we can change that by going to format background and click on picture and click on clipboard. And this way we have pasted that blurred picture to the slide background. And we have this sharp photo on top as well. Okay, so this is the magic. So you have a blurred background and you have a sharp picture on top. And now we can select our rounded rectangle. Let's go to fill options and choose slide background fill. And now this rounded rectangle is using that blurred picture as its fill. That's super awesome. And we can stylize this widget even more by adding a frosty shadow. And let's just use an inside shadow, color white. Okay, shadow transparency 50%. And for the shadow blur, let's use 15 points. Okay, and this way we're getting this nice frosty edge for our widget. That's super awesome. Now let me just grab these uh, nice text boxes and let's paste them right here. Okay, so make sure that all of your text boxes are nicely aligned inside of your card, just like that. And now let's quickly create one of those weather icons. Okay, let me just grab this little text box, 18 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's paste it here. We can as well uh, type in some information about the weather condition. Let's just type in mostly sunny. Mostly sunny, what a beautiful day. Okay. Once again, let's make sure it's center aligned in the card or in the widget area. And now let's create that little cloud and that shining sun, okay, and to speed up the process we can use icon, cloud icon provided by PowerPoint. Let's go to insert icons, let's search for cloud and here we have a nice fluffy cloud that we can use. Okay, so currently it has black color, we can change that very, very, very easily to white, that's nice. And let's just resize this cloud until we like it, okay, so we can make it smaller, we can make it bigger. We can make it any size that we want. Okay, let's make sure that it is center aligned. And now for the sun, let's just insert a nice perfect circle while holding down the shift key. Okay, let's position it somewhere right here. And now let's add an outside shadow using the same beautiful orange color. 
and let's add some blur so that it looks like as if the sun is shining. Let's just make sure that uh, this cloud stays in the front so that the sun can go behind the cloud. Just like that. And voila, our little beautiful widget is finished. And now let's make sure that we group all of these elements into a single group for easier management. Okay, that's nice. And now as you can see, if we would move this widget to a different position, this card is always uh, taking that blurred uh, slide background as its fill. So it's really flexible and awesome technique, you know, to fill your shapes. And let's make sure that our model stays in front, okay? And now we can copy our beautiful widget and paste it into our previous slide because we have to have the same widget on both slides. But as you can see on this slide, it looks white. And the reason for that is that the slide background on this slide is still white. And to easily fix that, we can use the Format Painter to paste the blurred background from one slide to the other. And now this slide has a blurred background as well. That's super awesome. And now the widget looks correct. That's great. Let's just move it to the left side outside the slide window. Alright, so the first transition is pretty much ready. We have all of the text boxes on the sides on one slide. And on the next slide, we have all of the text boxes inside. And we have the widget as well. Okay, the morph transition is activated. And now we can check it out on the full screen. Okay, so now I'm just using my keyboard arrow keys to navigate the slides. And once I'm moving back and forth, as you can see, everything is working as expected. That's beautiful. You're doing wonderful, my friends. And now to save some time, let me grab a couple of those widgets from my previous slide. And let's copy this photo as well. And let's paste all of these elements to this slide so that we have the same look. And now let's just make sure that we have these exact cards in the previous slide as well. So let's just select them, let's copy them and let's paste them into this slide as well. Okay. And let's move them to the sides. We can delete this one and let's use these guys. Let's just move them to the sides. Okay. This one to the left and this one to the right. Let's make sure that the model stays in the front so that no cards, you know, would fly over the model. Okay. And I think we can check it out on the full screen. And we're getting a nice transition to the next slide. Well done. Let's keep on going. Okay, my friends. And now let's remember how the second transition looks like. So we transition from this slide to this slide. And as you can see, first of all, the photo is changing and we're getting some additional widgets. And as well, the text boxes are shrinking and going upwards. And by the way, we have a slide zoom as well. A lot of things going on. So let's jump right into it. All right, so let's select our second slide and let's just duplicate it. Okay, and now on this duplicate, let's select everything. Hold down the shift key to deselect the background photo and the logo and let's delete the rest of the elements. And now let me jump to my previous slide and let's select everything here as well. And this time, let's just deselect the background and the logo. And for the rest of these guys, let's copy them and let's paste them into our slide number three. Okay, so this way we have saved a lot of time. And for now, let's delete the slide zoom. We will take care of that little guy later on. And as you can see, now we have a new model photo looking sideways and reaching with her finger. That's awesome. Thanks to depositphotos.com. And now let's just play the presentation and let's see what do we get. So those text boxes are going up and shrinking. That's good. Those uh, two widgets on the sides are going up as well. But as you can see, the rest of the widgets are basically just fading in because we have not yet inserted them into our previous slide. OK, so I think we can do that next. But before that, let me tell you one important thing. Let's select this photo and let's go to selection pane. And as you can see, the name of this photo starts with double exclamation marks. And on the second slide, this photo has the exact name double exclamation marks photo. And that's super important if we would like to morph the first photo into the second one. Just look what happens when I change the name of the second photo to something random, for example, test. And now the morph transition does not morph these two photos. So just keep that in mind. If you would like to morph two different photos, use those two exclamation marks at the beginning of your photo names. And then you will be on your road to success, my friend. All right. So now let's make sure that we have the rest of those beautiful widgets, widgets in our previous slide as well. So let's just select all of those widgets that we have not yet inserted in our previous slide. So all of these guys, all right. So let's select them all and hit Ctrl C to copy and let's paste them into this slide. Okay. And on this slide, we have to move these cards below the slide because we want them to appear only on the second slide. Okay. So that's the reason to move them downwards. 
Okay, and now as you can see, these widgets are coming from the bottom to the top. Okay, everything is looking and working as expected. And by the way, as you can see, the finger of our model is behind those uh, cloud icons. And the reason for that is that I have moved those uh, clouds to the front. And if you would like, you could move your photo to the front. But I think this way, when the icons are in the front, this way it looks a little bit more interesting. Okay. All right, my friends, I think we are pretty much finished with both of these beautiful transitions. And now the last thing that we have to do is to add that little beautiful slide zoom. So let's do just that. And now let's just copy this beautiful gym slide so that we have something that we can work with. And let's paste it to the bottom of the slide list. And let's make sure that this uh, slide has a blurred background as well. We can use Format Painter for that, as you already know. Okay, and now on this slide, we can insert a slide zoom. So let's go to Insert, Zooms, and let's choose a slide zoom, and let's choose our gym slide. Okay, we can increase the size of this slide zoom for now, so that we can better see what we're doing. Let's remove the zoom border. I think we don't need it. Let's make sure return to zoom is activated so that we can get back to our home slide or our previous slide. Duration for the zoom transition 0.5. And let's click on this preset to add rounded corners to our slide zoom. That's beautiful. But together with this effect, we're getting a reflection. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a little reflection. And I think it's unnecessary. We can deactivate it by going to format shape, reflection and choosing none. Okay, so now we are left only with those beautiful rounded uh, corners. And now let's just resize this slide zoom so that it basically fits into our gym tab. Okay, just like that. And you could of course insert as many slide zooms as you wish. You could pretty much insert a slide zoom for each of the tabs. That would be awesome. And now let's check it out on the full screen how this slide zoom is working. So we click once, we zoom in. Okay, and now we can click anywhere and we zoom back. That's super awesome. And now let's check out everything from the start. So this was the first transition. Nice. And here goes the second transition. And now I notice that the slide zoom is just fading in. It does not fly in from the bottom, which means that I have forgotten to insert it into the previous slide. So let's just paste this little guy to this slide as well. And let's move it downwards next to the rest of the widgets. Okay. And now the animation, the morph transition animation should look correct. Okay, so now the slide zoom flies in from the bottom. Congratulations, my friends. Now you know how you can create this awesome animated slide design virtual planner user interface with slide zooms. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.